Hi my little art fiends. I am back for another vlog and I'm gonna put this up as a real-time vlog and as a time-lapse vlog. And this is a really exciting experiment. So this is a cake mold. You're supposed to put fondant icing in it to create lace. And instead of icing, I'm going to use acrylic medium. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it because at the end of it, I'm going to be able to peel out the acrylic medium and have a piece of lace medium if all goes well. This is the first time I'm using this particular medium, so Ugh, I just had a smell of it and it is whiffy. Oh dear. So I'm going to put on my gas mask and my mask mask. Always wear goggles, safety goggles and a gas mask because um, paint is toxic. You know, everyone's going on about how non-toxic and safe acrylic paints are and resins, certain brands of resins are, but they're not. Read up on it properly um, and wear the correct safety gear. Google resin rash and uh, tell me you don't want to wear safety gear after that. <laughs> so, I, I have my mask on now and you can still hear me, so it's all okay. So I've got a uh, an art studio palette knife slash trowel here that I'll be using and maybe a couple of plastic palette knives if I need them. Those are some test tubes I'm going to fill with paint later uh, for another sculptural artwork. But right now let's try and get some of this palette knife Let's try and get, sorry, some of this medium onto this palette knife and onto, oh dear, okay, well, lots coming out. I'm just going to try and get as much back into the jar as I can because uh, it's like $21 just for a tiny little tub. And uh, I don't want to waste any. Um, you know what? I didn't bring paper towels, but I have a leftover one here. So I'll just wrap this side because I don't want it to adhere to the lid. Alright, let's hope this is enough medium to get going with. So I'm just going to smear this all over and get it into all the cracks. This is a really nice palette knife to work with. I haven't used it before but I enjoy this. It's nice and flexible and smooth and it has a nice big surface area. It feels sturdy and strong but also flexible and malleable. I think I'll enjoy painting with it when I get around to it. I uh, keep wanting to do these couple of big canvases I have lying around. One's a big wooden round and one's a big square canvas. And I keep wanting to just splash abstract paint all over them and uh, then slap a bit of a portrait over the top. But it just never seemed to have enough energy to. So uh, hopefully one day you'll be seeing a vlog about that soon. Comment below if you'd like to see that and what sort of colours you'd like to see me play around with on a big canvas. Um, but right now, we've almost filled up the entire mould with acrylic medium. And I'm just trying to get all the cracks filled, but not have a big layer on top that's going to be um, 
Oh, look at that. There's a whole lot on top that I'm getting out with this thing. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not. Well, this is an experiment, so, you know, my first try will never be perfect. So let's just see what happens, huh? Okay. And I like videoing these because it helps me remember what happened and what I did and what went well and what didn't. So that next time I can do the same thing or do something different. And I'm just putting the excess back in the jar so I can reuse it. And going back and filling in bits. Okay, so now that I've done this first layer, I am going to go in with some colours. And um, because I'm going to try and make this into a wearable paint crown, I've chosen some iridescent uh, glittery colours. I've got some Dr. P.H. Martin's iridescent calligraphy colours. But as you can see, the pigment has uh, settled at the bottom and I've been shaking it for quite a while and it hasn't come back. But this one has, sort of. And I've also got um, some F.W. De La Rowney acrylic artist ink in shimmering gold um, it's an interference color so you'll only be able to see this shimmer if you turn it around in different lights and I've got that in gold and in shimmering red and in shimmering green and shimmering blue and those pigments are settling down the bottom too um, but I'd really love to get those in here but what I want to do here is see how color reacts with this medium so I'm going to try a few different things the first thing I'm going to try is some magenta Bombay India ink just a drop and see what it does um, now what do I want here? I want this. And I want to put in some shimmering gold into that magenta. Wow, oh wow. That looks fantastic. <gasps> Look at that effect. Whoa, that's doing all sorts of weird things. It's pretty cool. Try a hydrous watercolor in um, in phthalo blue, and I'm going to put that off to the side here. And uh, I think I'll put in some shimmering, shimmering red into the blue. If I can, oh, you can't see that, sorry. <laughs> ah. Oh, 
uh, it really is a fascinating effect. <laughs> it's fascinating. Oh gosh, it's so interesting. Alright. And I want to see how an acrylic ink goes. So I'm going to try a golden hunter yellow medium. Oh, I don't, it doesn't sound like I have very much of that left. So uh, let's just give it a go. Yep. And into that I will put some shimmering blue, I guess. I don't know if that'll work because I'm not sure if it's um uh what would you call it mixed enough. I might have to put another um layer of medium on top of here because it might dry lower, like dry down so that it won't come out all as one. So I think I put way too much blue, but Maybe this will just be a green and cold crown. See that? That's, um, Dendritic monoprinting. I love those patterns. Wow. Actually, it's bringing out the gold beautifully, too. And as you can see, the, uh, the medium is beginning to dry, so it's sticking to the palette knife. Interesting. All right, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this to dry and then after it's dry, I think I'll put another layer of medium on it just to make sure it lifts in one piece. Um, and if I have to cut out bits to make it um, to make it lacy I, I will just have to do that or you know I don't know maybe I won't have to do that we shall see we shall see and it's going to take a few days for this to cure don't think that it's dry if it's touch dry because um, into the mold it will still be wet uh, and the deeper the mold the wetter it'll be so wait at least a few days if not more it particularly particularly if you've got a deep mold um, you know and don't heat it up with flame or heat or anything because that will make the paint crack or craze. Um, 
then you don't want that. Most people don't like that effect on their paintings. Hi everybody. I have my exciting, exciting project to show you. <laughs> I am so excited to show you this. Uh, it's dried down. It is a lace fondant mold with acrylic medium and paints in it. I put in a bunch of paints, you probably saw that. And um, what happened was it dried down so that it was lower than the top of the mold. So I actually put down two extra layers off camera. So there's three layers of acrylic medium and I actually covered this area too so that the lace would have some support when I pulled it up. Um, and it seems to be all dry. It's not cured because it's only been about two days. But since it's dry, I've tried picking up one corner and it's working and I'm so excited I just have to show you all. I'm, oh, I'm so excited about this. So I'm going to try and give you a really close up view of this peel porn. You can see it's all built up and hard. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh, I've got to do this really carefully. So that nothing breaks. Wow, it seems really strong actually. Wow, that looks amazing. Yeah, wow, it's really strong and really flexible. And this is so satisfying. Oh my goodness. I'm being quiet because my dad's still asleep. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is amazing. I love it so much. And it's not really sticky either. This is nice and matte. This side's a bit sticky -er and glossier. Um, what happens is the water escapes coming upwards. Um, so I guess what has happened is th it dries from the bottom up because the water escapes this way. So this stuff, I'm going to have to leave it facing down to dry further so that the rest of the water can come out and make the back non-sticky, I hope. Okay, let's continue oh wow this looks amazing this looks so amazing wow gosh i can't wait to show you guys this oh wow Wow, this is so satisfying. There's just a one little section left and I don't want to ruin it. So I'll give it some support with my hand. It's actually starting to smell like wet paint now so I'm obviously releasing some fumes and possible moisture Wow it came out perfectly it came out perfectly oh my gosh I can't wait to make another one oh my gosh this is amazing. The texture is amazing. Oh gosh. This is so cool. And the green, it wasn't what I started it out planning, but uh, it looks fine. I mean, so the idea is I'm going to cut off all this excess and then I'm going to make a crown. Ooh. <laughs>
I'm gonna have to oh, okay the back is sticking a little bit so I'm gonna have to be careful that it doesn't stick on itself <laughs> so this is a crown oh my god a crown made of paint this is incredible so I'm gonna have to stiffen the uh, the paint and give it some support as it cures um, and also I'm gonna make some chandeliers uh, I'm gonna tie some string very probably fishing line um, to these bits and hang layers um, rainbow layers of these <laughs> I've got to make a lot more it's feeling a bit tacky there dry here tacky here okay so this side's not fully dry yet that's interesting okay so so cool. Um, I need some scissors. So I've got some cheapy little craft scissors here and I'll do a little bit of cutting. Maybe I'll put you on time lapse for that. Okay. So um, I've cut off the ends and that end and trimmed this a little bit but I'm going to have to get a, a really tiny precise knife to get in all of these nooks and crannies which is going to be really annoying. <laughs> it's going to be painful for my painful hand. Um, but gosh it's beautiful. It's so textured and it's actually really strong and flexible and um, I think I'm just gonna leave it here to dry for now and cure and see if it gains even more strength um, but needless to say I'm super excited about it and I'm so happy this worked and I'm so happy to share it with you all and uh, thank you for watching. Bye! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you'd like to watch more, click on the video to the right. If you'd like to help me make more videos, click on the left to donate a dollar to my Patreon account. And click on the circle in the middle to subscribe. Bye sweethearts!